and I, I can tell us when we're coming out here, we, we'll be out there in a couple weeks. For, uh, Haney and Garcia. Tell them I want to get in the boxing gym. Got me, Jojo? Welcome to the Porterway Podcast, everybody. The Barbershop episode. Uh, for, for anybody in here that don't know, uh, the Porterway Podcast is in here. Did you tell them I was coming? Absolutely. All right, all right. I ain't want to just spur it on nobody, but uh, I like to always tell people, be yourself. I like to expose my audience to the barbershops around the way, wherever we at, and just show them how, how we get down. You know, it's always good conversation in the barbershop, so... We added this to our, our repertoire um, a couple years ago now. And uh, everybody always look forward to where we at, how these people talking, and what they talking about. So um, that's it. Uh, All-Stars Barbershop, Henderson, Nevada. 565 Mark Street. <laughs> like that, huh? Yes, sir. And how long y'all been here? We've been here since, since 2015. This the, this the first shop? This the first one. Yeah. Okay. We've been open since 2012. You 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 got an originator in here? Who 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 been in this shop since day one? Since day one, it's actually two of them. It's uh, it's uh, Rich and uh, T Mac. Is it Rip and T Mac? Rich. Rich. Rich and, and T Mac. You you surviving T T Mac, huh? No, I'm making it through. You surviving, huh? How long you been cutting? Uh, officially? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Since you can't. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So officially, uh, six years. Six years. Been officially six years. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Anybody walked in here so far that you like, man? I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm cutting this guy. That 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 woman. Believe it or not, it was Roy Jones. Roy walked up in here. Roy came in here. Yeah, because that's who got me into boxing. So okay. you know what I mean. That's what started me to watching boxing. Um, and when he came in, I'm like, damn, that's Roy. Yeah, yeah. I got, you know, I got a little yeah. starstruck, but that, that was, uh, he good people, man. He came yeah. in, he was a selfie, vibed with everybody, and, and he good people. So that was Roy. When Roy walked in, what did, was it any piece of you said, that, that ain't, this ain't Roy? No, because I heard that he oh, came yeah. through. I just hadn't seen it myself, okay, you know okay, what I okay. mean? And, uh, and then, I mean, he up on the wall, too. He yeah. up on the wall of fame. So, you know, um, when he finally came through and I seen it for myself, I was like, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, absolutely. You tune in to boxing much? I would like to think so. I try to catch them all. Yeah, absolutely. I've been a fan for a while. But you ain't no boxing guru. You ain't you ain't you ain't, you ain't breaking it all the way down. I'm not gonna say a guru, but I've been watching for some years. You know what I mean? You watching the fight this weekend? Absolutely. What what, what network is it on? That is a great question. <laughs> it's on Prime. It's on Prime. There we go. There we go. And I was like, I was like, oh, I ain't believe in this. I'm like, I ain't believe in this. So yeah. You got Tim Zhu, you got Sebastian Fundora getting in the ring. Right. Yeah. Um, once upon a time ago, it was Keith Thurman. Uh, to one time ago. One, one, <laughs> <laughs> one time ago, it was Keith Thurman. Carson, was you surprised at all that, that what, 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 this unfortunate? That Keith got hurt? Yeah. No. Did you Keith expect it? He hurt for some time. I didn't know the fight was happening to me. Oh. And, then, <laughs> and, and you told me. Hello. I don't know if you said something about. Yeah, when when Zoo fights Keith, I was like, oh, I didn't know if I was happy, oh, cool, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then you texted something else, and you were like, yeah, Fundora and Zoo, and I was like, wait. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Keith. But no, I, am I surprised that Keith Thurman is is injured? No, I'm not. You I hope he heals up well, but yeah. And then and then oh boy, and, and my man over there, what's his name? Rich. Rich. Yeah. Originator, huh? Yes, sir. All stars were to be. Yes, sir. Why? The last time I was in here, yeah, yeah, you there. last time I was in here, y'all, y'all was kind of live. I was like, yo, I need to bring the podcast in here. It was, it was football season, you know what I mean? So, you know, a little bit more to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know my man behind me, a 49ers fan, right? And somebody was, was getting on him. But this is like mid-season, maybe. Y'all got close, bruh. Oh, you don't want to talk about it? I mean, at least y'all got there. 
man. At least y'all got there. If you don't seal the deal, it don't matter. Damn. It don't matter, man. If you don't seal the deal. Don't matter, man. You don't want to be number two, man. You don't want to be number two. All right. So, as a as as a Browns fan, <laughs> I had a good season. to 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 that, but we had an okay season. We had a, a rough start, and we finished well. But as a Browns fan, we always talk about next year because you know, hey, yeah. we don't go far. You didn't finish the game. Like I know you hurt and everything, but you like ain't no part of you that want to talk about next season. It's just we there. We ain't finished, so I'm gonna be hurt. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Niner fan, man. So we we've been we've been making it, you know, to the big games a lot here recently, man. And we keep falling short. So it's you know, it's winning it's winning a bus, man. It's, it's, you know, I'm tired of making the NFC Championship Super Bowls and losing, man. It don't. That's, 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 I y'all rather not even make. They should have nah, lost stop to Detroit. It. They should have lost to Detroit. I'd rather them lose to Detroit to Green Bay, man, and get to the Super Bowl and lose the way they did. How? Yeah, that's what it is, huh? You have money on your head. Yeah, that's what it is. They should have lost to Detroit, man, if you don't go down there and do that. They played well for three and a half quarters. Man, it, it, the game is 60 minutes. It ain't 55. <laughs> it ain't 55. It's 60 minutes. You gotta play. You gotta finish strong. Carson, you seen I've been training kids, right? The bar, the boxing gym. Okay, I've been at a uh, at a gym for a minute now, a little more than a month. For a high performance center? No, sir. Uh, Game Changers Sports Academy. Okay. okay. And uh, this young man, two to your left, is uh, he's. Uh, one of my young grasshoppers. Yes, okay. Yeah. Up, up, over there at Game Changers. Game Changers. Part of Yes, sir. What about Malcolm? No, Miles ain't, Miles ain't been there yet. He could be he could be molding. Training. You ain't been there training. Not training. It ain't the same. Port away is nowhere. Port away is nowhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that also. How is the suit line? You that's you two gentlemen, the well, endeavor well. here. How's it going? Very, very well. well. Very well. Very, very well. Dynamite. Thanks for the insight, guys. Very well. Come on. Tell the people, man, where can they go? They got is there a website? Last when I heard this introduced there was there was a no website. <laughs> Yeah, they, they know what's going on. You ain't been around, so you don't know. So I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm the target audience. Is that a Cleveland hat? Mm-hmm. What game? What team is that? Guardian. Started oh, off one and zero. Ain't nothing yesterday. Not a big deal. Keeping right. it casual. Open at night yesterday. Yeah. At home. Open. Okay. Okay. Is that comfortable calling in the Guardians, man? Yeah. The Guardians instead of the Indians now. He said, are you comfortable calling them the Guardians? Prefer over the racist name, yeah, I'm comfortable with it. Is that a racist name to you? I'm not Native American, so I, it, I'm not the one that can determine that. It was clearly perceived enough as that to them change the name. I, Guardians, like, it's not my first choice of a name, but it's just a team name. People get real tight about it, so. Did they have a couple names that they were choosing from? The the other one that was like rumored to be the secondary choice was the spiders. Spiders? Because so they used to be the spiders like way back, way in back. Oh, okay. But that was not selected. Okay. I prefer the guardians. Yeah, I don't mind it. <laughs> guardians, guards, like. Got a new manager. Huh? Got a new manager this season. Uh huh. Did Ann say he was coming through? Say he's gonna be late. Am I boring you? No, 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 no. Mid, mid answer, and the guy just all of a sudden wondering if Ann's gonna be here. Oh, Unbelievable. Sure. Yeah, he's about making it. Though. He said, "Yeah, I don't care about the Guardians, the manager. Where's Ann? Where's my co-host?" <laughs> who, the, who the last big man came through here? You can make somebody up too. Nobody can clarify. 
in this shop, shoot, I haven't worked in here, man, in about five years. I've been working at my other time. Oh, you just shop, been right? strictly there, because yeah, I know I, was, I had you come over here a couple of times. Yeah, 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 I just came over here to take care of you. Yeah, but, okay. But I was, I was working at my, my other location, yeah. and then I was over at one on Eastern. So I haven't been at, working at this one for a time. Oh, y'all got three locations. It's two now, I sold I sold. Okay, 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 okay. I sold, it was three, but I had two. I got two now. But like, we had Mike Tyson came in my other shop last week. He came in there, got his son haircut. Okay. He was, uh, yeah, he was he was cool, man. He was talking boxing. Real, real cool. You he said last week? Last week. Yeah. He, did, did he say what he said about the fight? He's supposed to have. You know, I didn't I didn't want to. We was talking about boxing, but I didn't I didn't really. I ain't really asked him about about that fight. He yeah. didn't he didn't mention it, so yeah. I left it alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. What? I don't think it's gonna happen. Man, he in, he in fight shape right now, man. How you know? I'm, I'm looking, man. He, he looked he looked the part. I'll say that. Yeah, I don't know how his wind is, yeah. but like physically, he he did. He did. He. Did. I was like, man, <laughs> Mike looked like he's ready to go right now. But he, you know, he's a little long in the tooth. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't want to see the fight. Honestly. Yeah. What, what's his name over there? T Mac. T Mac. What's up? You you like that? You you like Jake Paul getting in the ring with, with Mike Tyson? How you feel? No, absolutely not. Um, I don't think that Jake Paul even deserves that shot, man. That's greatness that he getting in the ring with. He don't deserve that. Um, you know what I mean? And then honestly. They, they basically tell him Mike to go in there and uh, fight with one hand behind his back, right? So that that that's not that's not boxing. I'm not sure what that is. That's how I feel about it. So. You seen you've been paying attention to Jake Paul. Watched him as he's come up, right? I think I think that he takes the, the sport series. I think he puts the work in. I think that it was something that he might have got into as a hobby. Um, you know, and then obviously he had a, a platform that he's kind of built up along the way and decided, hey, it's an opportunity for me to get some money. But I, I don't know. I, I just think, I think, like I said, man, the rules are, are bent so crazy that it doesn't make sense, right? I, what, what part of boxing, was there ever two people that could fight in the ring? Again, two on one, that's not boxing. Um, you know what I mean? You're wearing headgear and I can't hit you in the head. Yeah. That makes no sense. So, um, what you say? What you say? he can tag his brother in and both of them can fight Mike at the same time for a little period of time. Did you, did you peep that in the rules? Nah. Yeah, yeah. And then Mike is not allowed to hit them in the head, right? And they get to wear headgear. I'm not sure. Mike's weighing in at 165. Right? Oh, it, it, he's supposed to what? Yeah, is it 265? I don't think so. I think he's supposed to weigh in at 165. It, it made it was something that didn't make any sense. You know what I mean? And then uh, Jake Paul don't have to weigh in at all. One Mike is gonna get tested, drugs, the, the drugs at the PD testing, and Jake Paul doesn't have to get tested at all. Man, you start rumors on my podcast. Man, you might need to look into it. It's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of stuff that don't make sense. Rumors, man. You know, um, it's not boxing. It's Come entertainment. On. That's gonna be an entertainment fight. That's not boxing. Unfortunately, that, I think I, I don't think that that's. What was that? Can't take fight at the same time. That's what I. That's what I read. I read that they could fight at the same time. Both of them. He can. If, if yeah. he, so Mike knows how to cut the ring. Up. Right. But if he if he's in trouble, he can tag his brother in and they can fight him at the same time. That's what that's, right. that's what's out there. Yeah, there's a whole video. I don't trust y'all in here, man. What the hell is happening? What's out there, man? Yeah, it's out there. Yeah, he ain't gonna sit back and This is when you come in, man. I haven't seen anything about this. I have a hard time believing that, but I don't know. I haven't seen anything about it. The last I saw, they were in bigger gloves, they're wearing a headgear, and there's no judges and referees. The only way, the only way this fight ends with a winner is if somebody gets knocked out. Three, those are the last three things I just saw, and that was today. Okay. Okay. See, y'all starting rumors, man. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, Mike and Hager, too? Nope. Mike and Hager? No. Well, speak up then, damn it. Don't just... Nope. No, Mike not in Hager. How you know? Where you, where you reading? Last week. Why are you co-signing <laughs> now? 
I said I didn't want to say nothing because I want to make sure it ain't. But you just said no. I'm anything man. that that man said. So what's on there? <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. <laughs> Somebody might have started a rumor. Maybe it's not been around the rumor. But that's what I that, that's what I've seen and read. I, I, at first, I I seen somebody talking about it online, and then went further to try to read about it. So, yeah, I, like I said, man, it, it's gonna be entertaining. It's gonna be entertainment. I don't think that that uh, Jake Paul even deserves a shot at greatness. Um, you know, but it's gonna happen. So, I'm sure the world will be watching. All right, this was March 29th, this morning, 16-ounce gloves. The usual glove is a 10-ounce glove. You're doing two-minute rounds opposed to the three. There's no official judges to score the fight, and there's no winner unless there's a knockout. And uh, the part I actually do appreciate, <laughs> both fighters have to pass an EEG and an EKG. And I mean, who is that really for? <laughs> that ain't for Jake. That's, you know? Yeah, so. I'm on record for saying it ain't, this fight's never happened. But how much do those six ounces really, really change the fight? It changes it. It, it changes, changes it. Especially depending on what glove you're using. Some gloves are made more solid than others, you know what I mean? So it really, it, it depends. Um, the fact that there is a headgear. No, no, no. I didn't read that there's a headgear on this one. But um, the fact that they, that they do have heavier gloves. Again, also, it's going to take the impact off the punch, but it also slows down the punch, too. Right. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Who you got in that fight? I don't have a fight happening. Huh? This fight, don't, this fight ain't going to happen. It don't think it's going to happen. Hell no. Same, see, like, the same way, you don't know what the rules is. And I'm looking at rules that was announced today. Right. You're looking at rules that what had to be announced a week or so ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, what's going to happen is they're not going to agree with something. And uh, I really do find this EEG and EKG to be alarming as well. So not that it's funny, but, you know, like you're over 60. You've had the impact of boxing for, for <laughs> 30 plus years, 40, 40 plus years. Yeah. Yeah, Mike almost 60. Oh, he's 56, I think. So 30 years only take you back to 26. Yeah. You know, so I think that that's alarming too. Should they fight and there's no tap in, tag out? Can Jake survive? That's the big question. Can Jake survive? Because he ain't timing Mike. I don't give a damn how comfortable you look outside the ring before a fight. When the fight starts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Who the best fighter in the world right now? Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. I think so. What did he say? Damn, who's the best boxer? Best boxer in the world right now. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. They trying to get me to speak on Floyd, man. I say Floyd is fluff. I say Floyd got a fluff record. Who the, who the, who the, who's the, the best fighter, best active fighter right now? Active fighter? I say Crawford. I say Crawford. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, active, active, active right now. Crawford. Have you had that conversation? Who wins, Crawford or, or Mayweather? <laughs> I'm gonna take Crawford because Florida ain't got no punch of power to knock nothing out and stop nothing. Yeah. I'm taking Crawford. Yeah. <laughs> both fighters in their prime. Take. Both fighters in their prime, which Floyd means that Floyd, Floyd, Floyd used to Floyd, punch Floyd, a little bit. Floyd won't just run. Floyd ain't gonna run. Okay. Give me Crawford for the knockout. <laughs> <laughs> you knocked out Conor McGregor. Huh? You stopped Conor McGregor. Yeah, that, uh, that's all right. That's <laughs> he said, that's all right. <laughs> he said, I could do that. <laughs> what was Floyd's biggest fight? What was his Damn. biggest fight? Oh, yeah. Pacquiao. 
Okay, but look look when he fought Pacquiao, look how look, look how long it took. He didn't want to fight Pacquiao when he was on that on that rampage. That's what he, I heard. He didn't want no parts of that. That's what I heard. It's always gonna be an excuse. Yeah, I, that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, all all Floyd's biggest fights came out of the same resume builders. I mean, you said that for Canelo too. Shane Mosley, he fought Shane Mosley at the end. Buckled him, but had him on his on on, a, on his back on his pedals. Pacquiao, Buck, man, come on, man. Floyd, a lot of fluff. A lot of fluff. I give him, he's 50 and 0, for sure. Ha! <laughs> he said, I give it to him. Yeah, <laughs> he's that. <laughs> so, Pacquiao, his biggest fight? Pacquiao, maybe Canelo, but I don't know. Canelo was a little dumb. It's all bad. I mean, it's his name. He's going to act like it's not his name. Yeah, he said, he said, he said, he said, he was a shame. He was retired. He was at the end. He was over with. Oh, listen, did he fight him? Did he fight him? He fought him. That's all that we, that's all you can talk about. You can't say, well, if he would have did it three, if he would have did it six, if he would, he oh, fought him. When he fought he him, want, he want to listen, him. listen, when he fought him, he fought him. He stepped in the ring, he, and in, they professional, so they know you can't play with the sport. He got in the ring. He's very smart. His team is very strategic on how they play some fights in his career. He was, he was smart for 50 fights, though. I mean, bro, I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I'm, listen, smart, listen, man. We, so, so, we, so we said Pacquiao, mm -hmm. Shane, we said Canelo. I give him Diego, too. That was a good one. That was a good one. In his career, bro. That was a good one. That was a good one. In his career, bro. Walking out the ring, man. Hanging his gloves up, bro. Hanging his gloves up. So who did Floyd beat Square? Diego, that was good. Drago, uh, Corrales is it? Absolutely. Right. One, and, and I give him Zav, too. Zav, I give him Zav. Okay. Definitely want that rematch, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's so he, he got, he got some good ones. For him to have 50 fights, bro. I give him a hot 10. That's credible. <laughs> a hot ten is credible. That's crazy, bro. Oh, <laughs> he he had to get in position to start calling them fights, right? Man, he got man, he picked and shoes real well, bro. Now okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna find out who hurt your feelings, bro. And we <laughs> Look, that's a, that's for another day. <laughs> bro, what time was your appointment? Four thirty. Bro, y'all three thirty. No, I didn't, sir. No, I didn't. Bro, I promise you, I would have been here for that. Bro. I'm going to see you very funny. So I'm going to ask you, Joe, because I know you're all watching this. Floyd, the greatest of all time? Nah, not the greatest of all time. Oh, on, paper, on paper, on paper, he on is. Paper, right? On paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Who the greatest of all time, then? He said Tyson. Sugar Ray Leonard, Lennox Lewis, Julio Cesar Chavez, 107 fights, 107 wins. I like Trinidad, Trinidad was hard. Oscar De La Hoya. That's why I say, boy, man, 50 and all, I get Top ten in the league? Top five? Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. He's not the greatest of all time. He up there for the top five. But the greatest right now, I can't say TV. Absolutely. Thank you, man.
because you know you're not you're not you're not turning on a, a, a Devin Haney highlight reel and seeing a bunch of knockouts. You know, yeah. you're seeing a lot of movement, a lot of speed, and that's you know like that's that's the art that's lost because the sport don't ain't, ain't followed the way that it used to be. You know what I mean? Like when when Muhammad, especially at his size, when he moved, it was appreciated because people understood it. People don't understand boxing the same way anymore. The thing you ain't got to explain is knockouts. You know what I mean? So when people see knockouts, they see Tank Davis, they're like, yo, he he the, he the best one right now because he gets knockouts, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Most entertaining. Yeah. But, you know, when you talk about Devin Haney not getting the credit he deserved, it's really just a matter of him having a style that you can't watch a highlight reel and instantly become entertained. You got to look at what he's doing. You got to analyze what he's doing. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you got to think, like, yeah, this ain't, this ain't I, don't, I don't get down with this. The knockout, you got to think about a knockout. My guess is he's going to knock out uh, Ryan. You, you, you got him knocking out Ryan? Yeah, maybe in like six. You got to go in the distance? I don't think they're going to distance. Like competitive I got more. Because yeah. they're gaining weight, that's why. Like, like, you said what? I, like, Haney just went up in weight a little bit, so, and a lot of people doubt his punching power, but if you look at all of his stuff from early on, he was really knocking people out. And now that he has a little more weight on him, I think he's going to put him down. I mean, you should see when he used to cut to 135, he used to be a skeleton, you know? Yeah. He used to be crazy, so at 140, it's going to be different for sure. But, yeah. You got, you got, you got him stopping? Uh, I got him stopping him. And, and how many rounds? Probably 10. I think he's going to go. It's going to go some, it's going to go, go some rounds. Yeah, 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 but because yeah. I, I, think, I think at a certain point, Ryan kind of do got that, that quit in him, you know? Because with that tank fight, like what I did, like you, you, you get a body shot and I get it, it, it hurts, but to stand up immediately right after the count, yeah, that's kind of like, come on, yeah. Can you take it down a little bit more? Yep, a little bit more, just a little bit more. What you think though, like uh, you standing right up after the count is over with? What you think? Um. Yeah, I mean, that that don't really need to be analyzed no more. We know. That he could have gotten up and he could have continued. But we also know that it wasn't going to get no better. Um, for anybody that's a hardcore boxing fan, you knew, you, we already knew one fighter was elite and the other fighter was good. Not very good. Right, right. Better than okay. He was good. Right. A average, average? A, l a little above average. <laughs> how do you say it? Like, how do you say yeah. it? I said good, damn it. <laughs> I said good. Yeah, it's just levels, you know what I mean? But the, the, it just, they were, it was completely outmatched. So when we see him go down, man, yeah, he was, I think he was hurt. Well, then when he didn't get up, he definitely could have tapped into something. And we see he, he didn't tap into it. Yeah. That's what turned people off. From a fighter more than anything, you know. People don't like people. People don't like fighters that quit, and people don't like fighters that move and don't engage. Yeah, and you know what I mean. So, I think he gonna engage. I think he gonna try to push the pace. I think it's gonna be a good fight. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause in the beginning he was. In the beginning against Tank he was getting him, and I was kind of, I had money on that fight, and I was kind of scared. Cause how I, many rounds did that fight go? How how long ago? Yeah, no, no, no. How many rounds did it go? It went like yeah, like seven or eight. Seven. Six or seven. Yeah. And you was worried. I was like the first three rounds before uh, Tank knocked him down. I was sure was worried for sure. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Yeah. Ma, how you still got him in the chair? Yeah. Don't put him on. I don't want people to not come to his chair. Now put him on. Put him on. You know, Joe's a master barber. He's been doing this for way longer. I got to take my time and do it right. You know, so. How long you been in here? 
I've been in here for about three years now. Yeah. You do your own hair or somebody else? Uh, you up in everything? My boy, Ant, he actually just cut my hair today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I ain't mad at you guys take your time. I'm just, I was like, like he had like a 30 minute head start at least. My boy, Matt, got to wear the beat. Know it's one of the most entertaining fights of this year. This year? This year. What? Oh, yeah. You think it happens this year? They they said in June, June 20th. Oh, it's announced. Yeah, in Saudi Ooh. Arabia. Ooh, Saudi made it happen. Yeah. Uh, better be versus Bavol. No, better be Nah, I know Bavol, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Knock everybody out. Yes, yeah, I gotta look into him. I know Bavol though. Yeah. Yeah. I got Bavol. Bavol is is the pressure fighter. Uh, his style has kept him safe. Um, better be his style is exciting, but it's got him. You know, it's just damage. You know what I mean? Even though we've never seen him go down, you know, it's, it's a lot of punches that he took head on just to deliver his own blow, which ultimately, you know what I mean? It's like a collision course, but you the bigger car. Eventually, you're going to conquer the other one, but it don't mean you ain't scraped up. You know what I mean? It don't mean you ain't got no dents. I think he got too many dents for Bevo. That's kind of like how, how it is for Mungia, too. It's kind of like they're in a similar boat. Like, Mungia eats one to give one, you know? He takes one to give one, kind of. You like, do that against Canelo. Yeah, you can. Because I was seeing that when he fought, uh, what was it, John Ryder? Yeah. He just fought. Yeah. John Ryder was hitting him, but Munguia was like, it didn't even face him. Yeah. And it was like, that's crazy. But if Canelo hits him with that, I was going to say, Yeah. Absolutely. Man. It seemed like. Fight, huh? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's, I think we all do, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, he keep calling him out. Sooner or later, like, the timeline ain't going to match. He yeah. gonna be, he damn near, you know. It's like fourth quarter in his career. Yeah. You know what I mean, so. I'm yeah. telling you, man. Then it be as, I don't think it's gonna become the star that he should be and can be yeah. without fighting Canelo. Right. I think he need those Canelo eyes. Yeah. Canelo brings some extra eyes than what normally, you yeah. know what I mean? Well, what happens if Ben Abidez fights the bowl and beats him? Ooh. Ooh. That's a hell of a fight, too. People in America don't care about b though. What? Boxers do. Boxers fans do. He's one of those fighters, a lot like Roy Jones. He deserves for people to be, everybody to be tuning in to him. Not just people that's boxing fans. And, you know, kind of like that's, that's the whole thing with this podcast that I do. It's like I'm trying to bring the eyes to the sport that otherwise wouldn't watch, you know? Um, we had a, 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 a rapper on earlier. You call him an underground rapper, right? I was, not kind of, not like mainstream. Uh, but he ain't yeah. underground, yeah. He's above, above underground, below mainstream. Not, yeah, below mainstream, yeah. but uh, Immortal Technique. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the fact that he watches the sport and watches boxing, a lot of people that, that tune into him don't know that he's a fan of the sport. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So my thing is expose the people that y'all like. Expose them and expose what they like. They like this sport. So if you, you find out, oh, Immortal watching this fight this weekend, well, let me see what's up. If Immortal watching it, I got to see. What I, if IT watching it, I got to see what's up. You know what I mean? So that's how I look at it, you know, and I think that, it takes a certain individual, yeah. dance partner, for you to be in the ring with in order for you to get those those eyes that otherwise wouldn't watch. You know, Ben Abidez's fight is that dance partner. Yep. You know, like for Can Canelo, his, that's well, his dance partner. I'm talking about partner. for, for Bavol as well. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I think it's better be yeah, 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 yeah. I better be saying. fight yeah. is going to be the dance partner as well. You know, well, well, yeah, that's more than you know, benefit Ben Abidez, though, is he's going to be the guy He'll get popular because people think Canelo's ducking him. It won't be the same level, but people are gonna be like, either if it's a contrarian opinion of like, oh, I think I think Ben Vidas beats him, that's why yeah. I'm not fighting him. Yeah. Or you can just be like, yeah, hey, Canelo doesn't even want to fight that. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. 
kind of a little bit, not the same buzz of actually seeing him fight in the ring. Yeah. Race, but he'll be kind of the boogeyman of that situation. Uh-huh. Because I almost think Pacquiao got that to some level. Obviously, Pacquiao is great by himself. I felt like he did but get that. were like, I think he beats Floyd. Floyd doesn't want to fight him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Pacquiao is continually. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good way to think about it. I mean, I was kind of confused with uh, what Canelo said. He said, you know, he wanted 150 to 200 to fight Benavidez. But then he, he fights Munguia. Like, is he getting 200 to fight Munguia? Is he getting more to fight Munguia than he is to fight Benavidez? So that, that comment kind of just solidifies it, don't it? Absolutely. You know? We already know what it is. Benavidez is too young, too big, too energetic. What do you say, too fast? Too fast, too strong. It is what it is, man. Yeah. He missed that opportunity to knock him off. That opportunity was about four years ago. That's crazy. Three years ago at least. At max, or at, at least three years ago. Man, it's a lot of people in the boxing game that say he going into the Hall of Fame. To me. If he don't fight Benavidez. I agree. I, I agree. You uh, agree with that? Yes, That's absolutely. That's crazy. Oh, man. But it's, it's going to be a stain right there. Even if you fight him and lose I think that's worse than not even fighting him at all. Fighting him and losing to him. What you think, Jojo? What's that? Would you rather see him fight Benny Vitas and lose opposed to him not fight him at all? Not, I re, yeah, I'd rather see him fight and lose and yeah, did not, did not that you know, man, you got to get in there with it. Man, yeah. Benavidez has earned the opportunity to fight this dude. Yeah. I mean, he's earned it. Yeah. You know, first Canelo was saying, oh, he hasn't done nothing to earn the fight. I mean, what else do he have to do? He done wiped out everybody else. Like, yeah. what, who else is there left? Like, yeah. and then Canelo fighting Jaime Munguia. Come on, man. Like, that, like. Come on, who has Jaime Munguia fought that earned a fight with Canelo? Absolutely nobody. It don't man. matter. Absolutely nobody. Don't that don't matter, man. Yeah, don't Jaime Munguia is, is not anybody to, to fight uh, Canelo. Bro. Like, that's a good right? That's both. That's number like me, right? Hey. Dang. That's tough. I love boxing, man. And, and, and you want to see the best guys fight, fight the best, man. And, you know, I, I I just would love to see uh, Benavidez get his shot. Yeah. Get his shot, man. Yeah, give him yeah, a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He been begging the dude for like four years now yeah. to give him a shot. You don't want to give him a shot. Should have did it four years ago. It's too late. And you still would rather just see the fight. I just want to see the fight. Yeah. If Canelo Dang. beat him, beat him. If, if he lose, you know. But you got to get in there with him, man. Like that's the Mexican you gotta monster. Fight. The, the, the Mexican monster, man. You got to get in there with him. See the Mexican monster. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get in there with him. What'd you say? Canelo ain't trying to see it. Nah. I don't think Canelo was afraid of Benavidez. I think he know that he can't beat him. Yeah. That, that's I think that's is. what it is. Yeah. I don't think he's afraid of him. Yeah. I just think he know he knows that he's not he can't beat this dude. I mean, he's seen what happened to uh, what's his name? Caleb. Caleb went in there, but he tried to get him. Can, uh, can is there any way that the boxing commission can step in and make it manageable? No. Yeah, I already did. That's what he's dangerous. Yeah. He's right. Right. Yeah. They'll go well. Who's scared? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to see that, JoJo? 
And, and, and Canelo? I'd love to see that. Yeah. I'd love to see that. I mean, I don't. I, Would you take that in place of? <laughs> no, no, yeah. not, there's no, no fight to uh, take take the place of that Benavidez fight, man. No, no fight will. No fight will. But, you know, Crawford, I, I think Pro Crawford might give Canelo problems. I think he'd give him problems. What you think, Carson? <laughs> Hell no. I, I don't know. I don't, it's tough to doubt him. And he's a, cra and he's a crazy enough SOB to rip, pretty much fight anybody, so. Did I see Andy mention he's supposed to be fighting the winner of this fight? Zoo and Fandora? Um, both of them. My, both of them. Or not both of them. Maybe they should fight each other for the win. Yeah. Happened uh, all right, yeah. Say he was coming out. Uh, he should be here now. And uh, he said he want the winner, well, well, which I like. Is he flying in? Uh, nah, but I, I hit Bud. He said he didn't think he was coming this weekend. So. Sounds like he's not committed. Listen, hey, we, hey, <laughs> but when you could, that, when you that yeah, kind of boss, you ain't gotta leave your house and still, had, and still the, can make demands. Is it WBO? Do you get the mandatory when you move up? Automatically? I don't know. It's one I of. I think it's the WBO. When yeah. You move up, you automatically, automatically. get a shot at yeah. the winner. So. Yeah. He's got all the belts, so more power to him. Who uh, who you think he should he should fight? Who? If Crawford don't get a Canelo fight, who who? Well, first I was seeing if he didn't get Canelo, he was gonna retire, which I completely believe. And then uh, most recently this week, hearing that he he will he will fight the winner of Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora. I think both those fights are fun fights to watch against uh against uh Bud and, and also against Arrow too. So you Boost Ennis is out the question? Yeah, yeah Boost is out the question. Boost is out the question. Um you know, the same reasons Canelo said before, you know, who has Benavidez, who has he fought? Now Benavidez has fought everybody. And ain't nobody for, for, for Boost to really quote unquote prove himself against, you know, so it's just it's the uh, it's the generations. You know, he, he just timing is everything, and uh, Boos is just just missed it. Boos just missed it. You would love to see that, huh? Yeah. I don't think he's ready just yet. Like that fight. I, I think that's the main event. That's honestly. the fight in the night. And I, I'm, I'm more excited that Zoo is fighting Fondora, honestly, than Thurman, if I'm being honest. Ooh, I think I think that's a more exciting fight, him versus Fondora. Yeah. Well, I think that one, because it's going to be action the whole way. Yeah. You know? Uh, He's going to fold his ass. Huh? He's going to fold his ass like a long chicken. Oh, damn. Who is? He said Zoo is going to fold. He's going to fold my Yeah, anybody yeah, worried about that fight. Yeah. yeah. Pandora got a shot. Pandora, he he was like you're you like play you play pickup basketball, and you and you have a tall guy, and you're like bro, this ball on the block, why are you shooting threes for? Yeah, that, that's that's Pandora like. And it just annoys me. I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude, just stay on the outside, use your range. And he's like, nah, uppercuts on the inside. I'm like. So I, and, and that's where Zoo, anything I've seen of Zoo, that's where he lives on, on the inside. He's going to fold his ass. Mm -hmm. And why was Roley ringing that damn, I go to the Golden Knights game on Saturday. Uh -huh. And they're like, and we have all our W whatever champion, Rolando Roley. I was like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> what in the hell? Had him up there ringing the siren. Did you holler at him? Uh, I saw him for a second. I oh. saw a shot to the B.O. if you listen. <laughs> I bought Nabil, so Nabil got me the tickets. Uh huh. And he was like, I he got, got me you. tickets when I went. Yeah, he's like, I got you. He said, but it's in the Golden Knights fan section. Thank you. So don't wear blue jacket stuff. 
So I kind of laughed, like, oh, okay. He's like, no, nah, seriously, like, they're my tickets. I work for the team. <laughs> like, please don't. <laughs> I was like, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll respect your wishes. How y'all like everything coming to Vegas now? We got the Super Bowl this year. We got the, the Golden Knights out here. NBA coming soon, I keep hearing. Yeah, they're expanding two two different teams, two new teams. If you don't own a house, you better hurry up and get one. <laughs> Man, yesterday's price is not today's price. They're not in American anyway. Bring them out here. Y'all go, you, you mess with the Golden Knights? You been in those games? You ain't been in the games yet? I went to one game. It was one of those zero, zero games that went to overtime. My wife was falling asleep in there, man. Like, I didn't see no fight. I didn't see no. We went to the nice game, man. It was, man, it was just. I was like, I gotta see some excitement, man. It was, we left. We left at the end of regulation, man, and they, they ended up winning one zero in overtime, but we didn't even see it. It was time to go. Man. Dang, it was an off night. I just wanted to see somebody get aggressive with some, some action, like something. It was. We went on a bad night, man. We enjoyed it right back. We enjoyed it. Who? Duquesne's basketball team. Uh -huh. basketball. Uh -huh. It was Coach Dambrat from Akron. Okay. He retired. And his assistant took over. Drew Joyce. Oh, nice. Okay. I came here just to get a picture of Ant. Yeah. Got even show up. Where? Here in Seattle. Ah, oh, got you. Good to see you. What's happening, sir? Jeezy. 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 You like T.I. or you like Jeezy? Jeezy. 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 Yeah, for sure. T.I. Why? Why T.I.? Why T.I.? I mean, strictly all music. I think T.I. make better songs. I think he's a better musician. Huh? I think he's a better musician. I mean, Jeezy's Jeezy, a legend, obviously. His overall. Both in and out. <laughs> That's Jeezy. Jeezy. <laughs> he, he said, hey, Jeezy. Case in point. <laughs> <laughs> when y'all, when y'all, how long y'all been doing that tally right there? Nah, we started on the day last week. It was on Kendrick Cole. Yeah, Kendrick Cole. Okay. Oh, he said thank you. That's hard. Who won that? No, did it? Who won? Who won? We did it on Saturday night all the time. Yeah, it was tied. Oh man. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. It makes sense. No, nah, not really. Well, are we out there? Kendrick, for sure. I don't even think it's that close. You said Kendrick? Oh, I'm a fan of Kendrick. But it's like Kendrick oh, no. put out monkey. Hey. Nah, Cole went in. Kendrick. That's, that's J like, Yeah, I know. When J, J. Cole to me, he's very talented, but he is like, I feel like he's very lyrical for a mainstream rapper. Like, he's like. No, I just think oh, people like oh, yeah, people that listen to a lot of like mainstream like rap. They're like, man, J Cole. They think he's like Black Thought. And I'm like, no, no, no. He's he's a good rapper, but I, I see he cool. It like like J Cole or Kendrick is like Floyd Mayweather, and J Cole's like T Bug. Like on paper, Kendrick is better, but I think J Cole is more enjoyable. You feel me? Well, I like rooting yeah. against Terrence, so I'm glad you said I'm glad you set it up that way. So hell yeah. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, Muhammad Ali, top player. Yeah, yeah, top player. Uh, 
<laughs> the debate we had earlier, Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. We should do that one next week. Michael Jackson or Prince? Yeah. I think it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson, too legendary. Damn. He talked to your ABCs. How you gonna disrespect them? That's tough. It's all the way tough. You got to. Yeah. I've never seen Purple Rain or Life. I've seen the Moonwalk. Oh, what? Well, that one out of nowhere. Do you know how to sing? Michael Jackson? No. Like, do you know how to sing? Like, sing for real? No. Between Michael Jackson and Jack Jackson. You know how? No, he's gonna do it. I can sing. Let me hear. I can sing for real. I'm just saying. 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 No, no. Why are you about to do that? I say sing. I'm speaking about pure vocals. With vocals? I'm just yes, asking. Yes. I've never heard that vocals. before. Vocals. <laughs> he said, he said I'm astounded. I've never heard that before. And sometimes they're right. All right. I haven't heard many of them yet, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, a good, he's a good man. He's passionate. That's what's up. I'm not talking about shows with dancing and, and, and albums. Hey, I got one. 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 Which one you got? Chris Brown or us? No, 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 no. But but oh, similar. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> John B or Robin Thicke? John B. John B. John B. Robin was smooth. John B. Robin Thicke. This is out of my life right now, so I ain't got no words for it. I say what? All right, Michael McDonald. I'm here to match up with him. No, it was uh, Drake and Kanye. Drake and Kanye. Ew. That's tough. I, I gotta get out with Drake. I think Kanye, cause he's the originator. Cause he a what? I said, out of the two of them, I said Kanye is the originator. He the OG. He the OG. Is there a Drake if there's not Kanye? You know what I mean? Give me a song. Give me a song that Mike went to the top. It might not be. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll find one There we go. Here, you, you both, you and them could could find one together. Now I'm trying to think. Like when you say, I'm yeah. bad. I'm bad. I'm big. I'm big. <laughs> that's not going to the rooftop. Wait, man. You said you could say. I just, it. I just said no. <laughs> but that's exactly how Mike said. I'm big. I'm big. I didn't sound like that. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he said you can sing, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm from, I, I'm from the church. Preacher. Of course I can sing. He said I'm from the church. He did. Easy. Do it again. Is that, is that a Do it again. Is that a I'm bad. <laughs> That's exact. Here, I'm going to play it for you. Oh, they're gonna no, no, do that. No, 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 no. We're gonna, gonna get shut down YouTube. Yeah, shut, shut oh, okay, okay. Shut I'm gonna yeah. yeah. So you gotta do it. Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> I just did it like four times. He sounds exactly like that. I right, watch this. Sing on bad. Do that part. All right, see. Somebody, do on bad. Sing it. Sing it. I never claimed to be a singer. Uh, <laughs> but just do it, just like that. See, I'm bad. Oh, well, you want to do it like you're doing it, or do it like do it. Mike did it? Anybody? Because I'm not gonna be able to sing like Mike. Hey. All right, so just do it in your voice. Watch out, brother. Nah, 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 nah. You're not you almost there. there. You nah. almost there. You almost there. What I was saying? Maybe. Come on, man. Hey, nah, 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 nah. There you go for the kids. 
for the kids? Wait, 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 Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I'm bad, I'm bad, <laughs> you gotta finish it, you know it, <laughs> gotta do it for the kids, I know, Samir, I know, yeah, I know, okay, <laughs> Got to represent. Pull back down from nothing. Yeah. I do, man. I do. A will down. The kid we just had on the podcast, uh, Schofield. Schofield, yeah. And uh, and kid Austin, he he kind of. He kind of called out everybody. He said we, he said we ready for uh, Shakur Stevenson. We ready for Mason Abdullah Mason. I'm like, I'm like, bro, like I'm like, bro, like your boots connected to your outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. I'm, not, I'm just speaking on like yeah, real yeah. vocals. Uh, uh, Mike did have people passing out. I, I really don't remember but that, but, it, but I, I remember. But not on vocals. I, I but that just hope, opens you to see it. But still, they have the kabochas when they have the, you know what I mean? No way does that. True, nobody does that. Like, but I don't think it's because. But watch this. Let me ask you this question: Is it because of the vocals? Three years ago. It's the whole. It's the whole show. It's it's because it's just him. You can't even. It's almost like Prince. You can't look Prince in his eyes. You can't look at Prince and talk to him in the face. Yeah, but you gotta talk to Prince like this. Hey, hey, how you doing, bro? Look at me. I'm focused on the couch. Yeah. They need those experiences. It takes them a long way. Where do you draw the line? The line when you, when you sparring young guys, because you know they're trying to get their name off you. So, like, where do you draw the line where you got to pull back to not just punish them? You know what I'm saying? It, you know, to tame them, you go to the body. You know, you're not gonna break nothing, but you know they gonna feel it. You know what I mean? You want to you want to teach them a lesson. You don't throw nothing to the head. You know what I mean? Like that's some serious damage. You go to the body. They gonna go home and I still think about it. You know what I mean? Like Kelly Pavlik did to Sean. Yeah, straight up. I learned from the best. Youngstown Zone. That's what you do, man. You you draw the line at, at going to the head. You go to the body. Some give them, give them something to think about. All right, last thing, we up out of here. Who taking the NBA Finals this year? The Lakers. My Clippers. Stop it. You said the Cavs? Hell yeah. Cleveland, Cleveland. So, you know, the Cleveland Pride came out, you know. Nah, the Clippers. Caught me off guard for a second. I was like, wait, wait, wait. I'll take it Yeah. We got Clippers. We got we got Lakers. We got Cavs. Boston. 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 Oh, hey. Hey. You said the Timberwolves. Timberwolves. Hey. I need Dame to get a ring, bro. I need Dame. Yeah. 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 They got Doc. They cooking though. I saw Doc. Yeah, I seen Doc came over. Why Doc came over? Doc ain't the guy. No, hell no. Doc oh. he's, he's proved numerous times he's not. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. They be messing with Doc. LeBron gonna get one more. I think before he makes the exit, Ooh. I think uh, honestly he has it. He, if, if he can be a team that he's on, he can be healthy. Yeah. I believe they can get With the up. team he on right now. If they're healthy, they're they healthy. Yeah. If they're healthy. Ooh. They just want to go through and get wins without him. You know what I mean? Well, they just they just beat the Bucks the other day without without running. They're yeah. playing right now against the Pacers. I think that's a good thing. It's a good thing. But if they healthy, they they they. They can make a splash. If my squad don't get it, which is the late show, the new face to the NBA, Anthony Edwards, is going to get it. They're going to spend two of them on him? Number one, yeah. All day. How they looking this year? They in the playoffs this year? Yeah, oh yeah, they in there. At one point, they were the best team in the world. Oh, oh snap. Wow. How far you you think they gonna get it this year, big man? I think I mean if the late show. Yeah, yeah. Man, dude is playing at a high level, man. They balling right now, man. 
Who is they? Timberwolves. The Timberwolves. The Timber, the yes. Yeah. Yes. But like I said, like you just you said, LeBron is LeBron. You got another man. You know we play different in the playoffs. Oh yeah. Lakers. Oh yeah. So like, oh, yeah. Lakers don't get. I really believe Anthony Edwards gonna fall. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't falling. Yeah. I believe we gonna do it. Uh, but you got to go see Jokic. Yeah. And, but his his right hand man is kind of hurt right now, right? That's yeah. If you if you going against the Denver the, the Nuggets, that's what you want. One of them got to be off the court. One of them got to be off. The but court. not never getting on the court type. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. You know, man. Let's, got to go see Jokic though. They they gonna repeat? You don't you don't think they gonna repeat? Nah, that's hard. To, they, this ain't that's back in the '80s. Ain't anybody? They switching up too many players now. Back in yeah. '80s Lakers dynasty days, yeah. Celtics years. Yeah. You know, repeat like that. Yeah. Ma Ma uh, Michael Jordan, them years. Yeah. Players switch up too much now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, man. We want to thank y'all and tell y'all we appreciate y'all, JoJo, for 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 letting us come bombard y'all and you know. Come get down with y'all for a minute and just rap for a minute. So thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. All Stars Barbershop. Y'all got two locations, one on Eastern, one on Mark, uh, Mark Street out here and uh, Henderson. By Sunset Station. So, so by, right by Sunset Station. Y'all need somewhere to get cut. Uh, holla my boy JoJo and the crew, man. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to the Port Away Podcast as always right here at, at uh, All Stars Barbershop. This is the Port Away. Port Away or no way. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate you, man. Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles, brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions.